such a hectic Monday today. Everything that could have possibly happened, happened today, this morning. I wasn't able to get on post because I didn't have my ID card because my dear and loving husband took it with him um, by accident. It wasn't his fault. I gave it to him uh, to hold because I wasn't taking my purse and he ended up taking my debit card, my military ID, and my driver's license. So I couldn't even get off at the visitor center to get a pass to go on post. So anyways, I'm at home right now because my boss basically said, um, go home until you're able to get your ID. I'm not able to get my ID until my husband gets home because so I decided to come and now that I have time, film my makeup routine while I'm in uniform. As you can see, my face is bare and this is normally how I go to work because I am usually running late in the morning. But if you're interested in seeing how I do my face on a typical work day, just keep watching. So the first thing I do is I obviously I wash my face and I just wash my face, I moisturize and I put on some eye cream on. I am however going to use some vitamin C under my eyes today. Vitamin C from Poppy Austin. I got this on Amazon a while back and I just use a, a drop and then I just tap it under my eyes. This usually absorbs fairly quickly. All right, the first thing I go in is with my brows and I don't overdo it, like I don't, ah, you know. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Definer and I'm just gonna, you see this little, I tweezed it, my eyebrows. And I do the, the most natural makeup when I'm going to work, so it's not gonna look all hardcore and caked on. So I'm waiting for the guy that's gonna fix our garbage disposal to get here. And I hope he doesn't interrupt. That's it. And I typically do not wear eyeshadow in uniform, not this one, um, maybe the formal uniform. My AS used the army service uniform where we can wear earrings and like dress up. It's, it's used for, you know, formal events. Usually I go in with a like a BB cream or CC cream or something that's very lightweight, but I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna go in and I'm not, it's kind of, I'm just gonna do like a sheer um, makeup. You want it to look as natural as possible. You're not supposed to look like you've caked it on when you're in uniform. So I'm obviously not gonna do that. I just wanna like, you know, kind of cover up my under eye circles and even out my skin tone a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with the sheer foundation and this one's pretty sheer. This is like medium, medium coverage, just depending on with what you use to apply it with. And I'm using the beauty blender so it can go on a little bit more sheer. Um, I'm in the shade W5.5. And I don't know, I kind of feel like it's not my shade, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So I just go in. Yeah, this is like not my shade. Oh no, I didn't prime my face. Oh. Oh, well, I'm going to I'm still going to prime it anyway. The spots I haven't gotten to. So, I'm just going to go in with this Elf Mineral Face Primer and prime the rest of my face that I haven't primed, which is right here and right here. I like this primer. For a drugstore primer, it's actually pretty good. Oh, I hate that I forgot to prime it. Just going in. It's very light. Like, I'm not gonna... And you can see it's not even picking up that much product, see? So... And that's what I want. I'm kind of just evening out the skin tone. Next, I'm going to conceal under my eyes because <laughs> it looks like I got no sleep last night. So I'm going to color correct real quick using the erase paste from Benefit. I'm just going to use my finger, just put a little bit. This actually um, goes a long way, so it's kind of thick. I don't like putting a lot of it. I usually use a brush, but I got time for that right now, so I'm gonna use my handy dandy fingers for this. It's not a concealer, it's a color corrector, so. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Use um, NARS 
Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade uh, Medium 2 Ginger. Because I can't find my, my other one. This is kind of thick. So I'm just going to use a little bit and then blend it out with my um, Beauty Blender. I'm trying to look all diva in uniform. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. So these people that are going to fix the garbage disposal said they were going to be here between 10 and 10.30. It is now 10.44. So they lied. So now for my under eyes, I'm going to um, set it with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And usually I bake with this, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm not trying to go for that look. So I'm literally just going to take it on the sponge and push it in. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, press powder, long lasting press powder in nude beige. So I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and then just dip it in there, tap the excess, and then just put it all over my fa face. I do tend to get um oily. I hate saying that word. Oh no, I think the people are here. Yes, they are. I'm going to have to pause the video. My eyes too. Going in with the NYX Tress Jolly. I don't know how to say this. Anyways, this is like a really good eyeliner. Oh, these people are about to ring the doorbell. My dogs are going to go insane. Can't believe they're 15 minutes late. I'm just going to look away if this grosses you out. Look away. Oh, good. My husband's here. I'm not going to have to deal with them. I'm just going to tight line. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is the shittiest um, eyelash curler. My lashes don't stay curled. I should just go and get that tart one that everybody raves about. Oh, can you guys hear my dogs? Uh, you can use a white pencil or a nude. Um, and it'll really open up your eyes. So you can probably stop at this point, but um, I need to contour. I need to contour my face, my little chubby cheeks. So I'm going to go in with the Hoola bronzer and then just contour a little bit. You just go in. You can totally skip this step. It's really not necessary. It's going a little above and beyond, but I'm going to do it anyway. This NYX blush, it's in the shade Amber. Just a little bit. Oh, shit. That's kind of a lot. Yeah, we're going to blend that. Oh, it shows up a lot. So this next step is totally not necessary and I probably shouldn't do it because I'm in uniform, but I'm gonna subtly do it. So that's highlight and I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna subtly highlight my cheekbones. Is that subtle? Oh my God, that's not subtle. Okay, just a little bit, see? Just a little bit. See, it just gives you a nice little glow. It's not too much. For my lips, I'm just gonna use balm. This Vaseline Lip Therapy. And that's it. Oh, can you guys hear the man? I hope you guys can't hear him, like, talking away. The garbage disposal guy. Anyways, so this is the finished look. See, it's not too... It, you just look awake. You just look like put together, you know, so you don't want to look out there. to Army Regulation 670-1, Chapter 3-2, Bravo, uh, which covers cosmetics. Um, number one, it states 
Standards regarding cosmetics are necessary to maintain uniformity and to avoid an extreme or unprofessional appearance. Males are prohibited from wearing cosmetics except when medically prescribed. Females are authorized to wear cosmetics with all uniforms provided they are applied modestly and conservatively. Which I think I'm covered. I'm good to go. And that they complement both the soldier's complexion and the uniform. Leaders at all levels must exercise good judgment when interpreting and enforcing this policy. So basically, you have to look natural. This, in my opinion, this is natural. You look put together. It's not out there. You just look presentable, you know? So that's the look that I'm going for. I'm not trying to be all... What word am I trying to look for? I'm not trying to look like it's caked on while I'm in uniform. On the weekend is a different story, but not while I'm wearing this uniform. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm literally about to like run back to work because my husband just got here. I just wanted to do this. This wasn't even planned, so yeah, I hope it comes out okay. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, well, I better get to work. Take care, guys. Bye. I'm filming. And I washed the dishes. You're filming in uniform? Yes. Why are you filming in uniform? Because it's a tutorial on what makeup I wear in uniform. Oh, yeah. Are you filming right now? <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, champagne pop.